All right, everyone out there in internet land, uh, whether you're on Facebook, YouTube, wherever, um, my name is Shad, and I am the owner of Decade Sound Studios out here in Tacoma, Washington. Eh, studio, right? We got a whole bunch of chairs and stuff in here right now. Um, a few weeks ago, I uh, had to send a microphone in for repair, and when I got it back, it said that it was a forgery. And I sent it into the Sure Factory, and those guys, I'm a huge fan of their products. And they sent me a note back, and they said that they couldn't repair it. And part of their explanation was obviously because of a they didn't make it. B, um, they said that they don't announce um, what the differences are between their microphones because um, they don't want to help the competition. Apparently, um, over in the Asian market somewhere, there's a factories um, just making up a whole bunch of different forged microphones and putting their badge on it and. Uh, sure is not real happy about it so they keep it's kind of like playing whack-a-mole where these factories keep popping up so i wanted to do this video and show people what the differences are between the real sure 58s the beta 58s and the fake ones that are coming out of china now my intention with this video is not to um to hurt sure in any way i'm a huge fan of their products and if they tell me to take the video down i probably eventually will um and the reasoning is that they don't want to tell you know the forgers what the differences are so that they can make their products even more indiscernible. So right here on top of this rack here, here's two beta 58s. Now if you're just like uh, you know like me, I'm a sound engineer. I own 20 of these things. I own a recording studio. I got a whole bunch of these things floating around. Um, and you just you know you go you buy some. You have a shortage for a show or whatever, um, and you just go grab a couple of mics, you're like, oh, okay, well, I'll grab these, they're cheap, you know, I got them, boom, I'm off and running. You don't really do take much time to do the side-by-side -side comparison. Well, one of the things that I started noticing after I got the letter back from Sure was that the body colors of the microphones are slightly different. So, the one on the left here is the actual factory Sure, and the one on the right is the fake one. So if you look at the at the mic bodies, they're slightly different colors, where the one on the right has a little bit more of a greenish-blue kind of a tint to it. It's not quite as just normal gray-looking, kind of a gunmetal gray, um, as the, the factory one. Also, the bands, if you look at the balls, are slightly different colored, which I hadn't noticed before because I never really cared, as is the mesh material that the ball is made out of. Again, the factory one is over here on the left side, right here, boom, okay. And if you look, it's it's a like a lighter color, almost a silverish white, whereas the fake one over here is like kind of a, I don't know, more silvery looking and less kind of uh, grayish white looking. So um, I pulled the mics apart and wanted to look to see, here's my mic locker, wanted to see um, if there was any other things we could notice. Um, and so again, here's what we've got. The, um, the factory ones are here on the left side. These are the factory shirts, and then these are the Chinese ones. So if you look at the balls, you can see it a little bit better here, where you can see that they're kind of slightly different colored, where the factory one there is on the left, and the Chinese one is on the right. You see the different coloration? And then the, the bands are slightly different colors as well. The shirt one looks a little bit lighter to me. Okay, then the other thing that I noticed was on the factory mics, you see you've got these little arches here where the where the head, uh, the capsule head is. They're actually slightly wider on the factory ones than they are on the fake ones. If you look at them side by side here. See the fake ones, they look like it's the same, almost the exact same material, same thing. You see the different coloration of the bodies. But those arches are a little bit wider and taller on the factory shurers. Also, the badges are slightly different sizes. Let's see if I can get this to focus here. So on the factory shurers, you know if this is going to come out very good. The badges are slightly larger than they are on the fake ones. And it's not going to focus that good. Also, the fake ones here, let me see if I can push this other mic out of the way. Um, the fake ones here, which is the one on the right, if you look down, the badge is slightly blurry. When you look at the printing, it's like the font is a little bit different. I'm getting a glare on the light. So the one on the left is a, actually a sharper looking image that's inside of the badge. 
Also, if you look at the wiring, you have the green and the white wire, or excuse me, the green and the yellow wire on the Sure. On the left side, is comes pretty much straight out of the mic body, whereas the one from the Chinese one is all twisted up and mangled. And I found three of these microphones in my own mic locker that were forgeries out of the 20 or so that I own. So I thought, well, that's a pretty high ratio of forgeries. You know, I just kind of buy them wherever I have, wherever I kind of find them if I need them or whatever. So I ended up, you know, not buying them in bulk all from the same place. So um, it, I, I guess it would make sense that I would end up with a forgery. Now, another thing to note here is that the collar where the, um, the ball screws down, and this is not focusing very well, um, on the one on the left is slightly it has more threads to it than the one on the right and I noticed the thing across the forgeries is that the thread lengths are different on all of the forged mics so sometimes they look like they're one length and sometimes they look like they're the other so they're just they're not really very uniform so um, somebody had asked me about how they sound what's the difference in sound quality and uh, I hadn't really thought about it before, but then I realized that, you know, there's a bit of handling noise difference. And one thing I noticed was, if you grab the Shure mic like this, and you just kind of push on the edge of it, you see how it kind of the capsule will kind of move? Okay, that's the suspension system. That helps with eliminating the handling noise. When you grab the fake mics, they don't hardly move at all. There's like no suspension in there to keep those things you know, um, from having the handling noise resonating um, in the mic body. So what I did here is I got my, I got a little test system set up here um, with an in-ear monitor rig. And uh, basically what the setup is, it's just a Mackie 1640i that's used for my wife's band's in-ear rig. We'll bypass the equalizer altogether. See, the EQ's out, that's in, that's out. No high-pass filter. We'll take that in and out. And... Uh, EQ on the monitor mixes, Clark Technic DN360, totally flat. Um, there's a compressor on the channel, but which is right here. That will actually, that's in and that's out. So we're completely bypassing that. And so we'll uh, plug a microphone in and we'll just see what the difference is, okay? So first, we'll go with the cheap Chinese guy. And we'll just listen to that. This is the cheap Chinese guy, you can tell by the ball. Hey, 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 one, two, one, two. Kind of hollow sounding in the mid-range, a little cheap sounding. Hey, 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 one, two, one, two. And then we'll come back over here. Now we'll grab the Factory 58, the original. Same thing, same chord, same channel, everything. Hey, 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 one, two, one, two. Much, much fuller bodied sound. Um, yeah, well, there you go. That's the real deal. So... If you guys got any questions, shoot me an email, shoot me a text, shoot me a message, whatever. Um, and uh, sure, brothers, I, I love your products, man. I'm not trying to hurt you guys at all. I uh, just want the consumers out there to be aware, and they need to know how to spot for the fakes because there is a big handling noise difference. Obviously, there's a quality control difference, and let's be honest, people pirating stuff sucks. So anyway, again, this is Shad from Decade Sound Studios up here in Tacoma, Washington. Signing off, and uh, let's say uh, buy American-made mics, guys. Thanks. Bye.